Welcome to the OSR's podcast, where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content creators. I am in that cow with some people below. Hey, right, it's me, Rice Cub, as always. You're not gonna do the Rakesy bit, huh? Oh, I see. Yeah, you can do the Rakesy bit. Come on, you got this, dude. What's going on, guys? Rakesy here coming at you from Rome. <laughs> <laughs> so goddamn good. And of course, we have a boy, a cold one, who was with us at PAX East. We picked him up on the road. We're like, hey, yeah. he looks cute. He's got a little hillbilly duster. Your yeah, intro music's playing, by the way. Is it? We can't oh, it. <laughs> Yeah. Sponsor. Beer. OSR's Best in Slots is a website that will allow you to figure out the best in slot gear of your choice. Whether it is magic, range, or melee. Some of my favorite features throughout this website is definitely the gear compare. Let me go to a chest plate comparison to the Banos chest plate to that of the Torax plate body. A very similar gear. Now we can see like the small differences. Really useful when you are trying to decide which gear to use for certain situations. Another really good tool that this website offers is the gear table. So for example, we are now on the stab section. It will now show you all of the best in slot equipment for stab. The link to the OSR's best in slots website will be found in the description. Please use the link found in the description to support this channel. Yeah. Where's your beer, bro? Yeah. I thought you were gonna have a beer for this. Yeah, what the hell? Oh man, the intro, no, oh, the pointless, the, the intro is pointless. Was that, was that pretty cucked intro for yeah, this video there? Unfortunately, yeah, we, 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 we talked last night, it's like, yo, you're gonna open up that beer while we play this. Crack open the um, and it's yeah. like three in the afternoon, dude. Okay. What I a puss. Okay, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, in comments call him a puss. Rakesy is literally, I think he's in Rome. I think he's in Rome right now. He was he last sighted in Rome. <laughs> Yeah, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, so everyone grads for him. That's sick, dude. So he took a vacation. Well-deserved. What an absolute beast. Um, I don't know who took that picture, though. Like, so, hey, just take one from the back, dude. <laughs> I think that was his, um, did he, was, is he in a relationship right now? Um, If not, he might have asked a random person. He said he was just chilling in, in a hostel with some boys, dude. Because oh, he rolls yeah, like yeah. that, so mm -hmm. I don't I don't think so. His man. capital I would not want to bring a lady. I get it down below mm -hmm. but i'm super jealous it looks dope mm -hmm. i don't know if he's posted on instagram or twitter but we'll link it down below so you guys check that out uh and then a cold one we were uh, at pax east and we got some stories and then we're gonna jump into some some runescape awarding and shit like that all right who wants so we're asking him a question right so yeah we I'm, question we're just, I'm just gonna ask about about the uh, pax east so cold one well, yes. How was your uh, second ever Paxis in general? What kind of question is that, dude? Was it like the worst question? Hey, it's okay. You, you can, can have the it Nice. <laughs> Sorry. It's nice. The drive was fine. Like you know, drinking for three days straight was pretty good. Always a good time. Yeah. Uh, the panels like kind of like whatever. The indie games are always good though. That's usually where I spend all my time when I go into like Pax East. But yeah, it was nice. Yeah, we spent yeah. a lot more time not in Pax and actually just going to events that we related to PAX outside of PAX. So, mm -hmm. yeah, PAX East is a convention in, in Boston about gaming. And I went with Rice, right? Because he, he lives down. I don't know what kind of info you want out there, but yeah, lives, lives around there. Yeah. So, yeah. And um, he let me stay. And we were both pretty pretty late at night. We wake up super late. So no one woke each other up. So we <laughs> wake up at like 2 to 3 p.m. And the convention closes at fucking 5 every day. <laughs> <laughs> so we completely missed the whole thing and then this motherfucker <laughs> takes me to chinatown every i'm trying to expose way. you to different cultures okay it was one culture <laughs> yeah different cultures man the chinese culture man, eating fucking feet and shit like tasty i'm like no that's... Yo, maybe that guy was a pussy, bro. He wouldn't have Phoenix wings. I man. tried a little bit of feet, all right? That's more than what most of people It tasted say. good, but you just... Yeah, I, I don't think know. I would have had that. He was yakking up the bones like it was normal. I was like, like, I'm like what the fuck, dude? Oh, some of the food was pretty good there, though. Uh, Chinatown was pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. fingers you have to kind of get used to. You know, it's a, They it's were a fingers? I thought they were feet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We just call it chicken fingers, you know? Like, oh, Phoenix, that's not Phoenix, right. Phoenix, Phoenix fingers, you know, Phoenix claws. It's not right. Oh, that's... I'm a puss, so... Yeah. Oh, man.
And then we met up with Cold One while I was uh, a little gone. Oh, a little, little gone. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just a tad. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, the Thursday night I met up with you guys, you were at some bar and there was like a private Twitch party on the side. It was like Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and some like deer shooting game playing over there. And they were giving out free beer, so I was automatically sold to the idea. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah. It I mean, it's like, time. you know, hey, what do you feel about an Irish car bomb? Like, how do you feel about two? And, uh, <laughs> Turned out to like be a little bit too much for you. I think at that point, okay. you kind of just like, right. out of existence. Let me defend right. Let's hear it. Let's so, hear it. PAX East, right? First day, Thursday. I meet up with my Twitch guy, all right? Anish, he's pretty cool. He does all the things for me on Twitch. I don't really know what to call it. That's like a manager, almost. And I take me and Rice down to the bar because he's buying drinks. So we're talking to Twitch staff about some of the problems with Twitch on RuneScape and really hitting those issues. And yes, we covered the fishers and they wrote it down and all that shit. Well, in the meantime, I'm getting Rice and Irish Carvon. Okay? I drink so we have two in like 25 minutes, but Rice, I didn't know how much of a lightweight he was. So I look behind I had some me. Beer and, too, okay? I also had two. You had beer. half a beer. No, two. I had to drink two beer. You know what I mean? Oh my god, a two whole beers? <laughs> I know. Poor dude. He yeah. needs a hug. I turn around, he's gone. <laughs> right? And I'm like, dude, this open bar. Where could he have yeah, gone? You wouldn't know what he was in the bathroom. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, a little like... buzzed. So 20 minutes goes <laughs> by, and my boy Anish is like, where, where's a rice cup at? I'm like, oh shit, is he still fucking gone? So I go to the bathroom I and I just see like these knees next to the thing. The thing. <laughs> <laughs> For fucking an hour, this man was gone. Yeah, dude. For... Yo, I was puking, man. It was, you know what I mean? Fucking sorry, but I didn't want to puke. Are you pregnant? Holy nah, dude. shit, dude. It's just my stomach didn't want that stuff, bro. I, I don't have the digestive genes, I guess. Dude, I love I love the Irish car bomb. Apparently, I mean, I'm not cream... gonna lie, it tasted good. It's just it, it, it was stay. pretty good. It just won't yeah. stay. So mm-hmm. yeah, it was god so... awful though. That, that once once it started hitting me, I was like, oh, please kill me. Basically. But the <laughs> bathrooms were pretty nice. All right, yeah, for at least bar, the bathrooms were. Are... He was having at least a decent time. Yeah, puking, yeah. All right, I mean, it was a nice. Yeah, for nice for food. someone that's about to die from you know puking. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, compared to places like Coogan's, that place is like a much higher scale bar, and then Coogan's is more like, you know, your hole in the wall joint. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Coogan's, yeah. Imagine oh being sick in there, right? So you would have been there. Yeah, twice. it's like, it's like, okay. <laughs> so the bar we, we went to with your with your guy is like already East, and then Coogan's is like already West. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> it's run down. Oh, it's actually perfect comparison. But it's, hey, people still around, people still having fun doing their thing, you know, drinking and stuff. Well, the funny part is when I was checking on Rice. Um, I went in the bathroom again. I was taking a whiz, and then I went to wash my hands. And this guy came in, and midweek he turns over, sees like my Twitch jersey or whatever that I'm wearing. He goes, "You a Twitch?" I go, "Yeah." And he goes, "You a streamer?" I'm like, "Yes." Go, oh, <laughs> come join us for free drinks over here. And I'm like, "What the hell? Yeah, we're uh, throwing a sponsored beer thing in the bar next to us." Which insane coincidence because we didn't know anything about that. Yeah. Voodoo was sponsoring that whole thing for like mm-hmm. every night, free yeah. beer, drinks, games. So I'm like, "Hey, right." <laughs> We're not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> We're going over here, man. I'm sorry. I didn't like, mind. All right, dude. I didn't mind. And they yeah. have food and stuff. And pretty much after, I don't know, like a couple hours of drinking, man. And I try not to go too hard outside a hotel room. But this kind of was like the perfect storm in a way. So I had like a couple drinks, two Irish. And I went over, had maybe like five or seven beers. And then this fucking hillbilly looking <laughs> guy over here comes out of nowhere, joining us for drinks. And he's like, hey. I'll buy you. I'll buy you a car bomb. And I'm like, okay. you suggested the I, car bomb, all right? <laughs> you said you were paying. I could not say no. All right. Next thing you know, I wake up in Rice's house. In my bed. Uh, yes, in his bed. <laughs> he took my room, bro. Uh, it's okay. I, I just slept in the guest room. Yeah. But, Both pretty comfy. Yeah, yeah. Cool one. Tell us your your experience manhandling a. Uh, you know, man, right, let's be nice here. All right, the reputation's on the line. Okay. Yeah, the part that uh, the minty doesn't exactly recall. All right, uh-huh. so yeah, we uh, minty suggested an Irish car bomb. I'm like, you know, why one? Why not make it two? So I got, you know, I kind of take responsibility for your actions a little bit, but it's his fault, but, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So eventually, OD meets up with us, and then we got to take multiple trains to get back to Rice's house. At that time, like I know your memory got cut, so you seem to have like you know this. Like this crazy affection with all of us. Like I love all you guys. It sounds then, like me. Yeah, and then you started like you know grabbing a few things <laughs> above, above the waist, above the waist, above the waist. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> and, uh, 
Yeah. Like, on the course of train stations, we found, like, there was this group of, like, six girls, like, you know, just hanging out together. And you start walking towards them. Me and old D start, like, holding you back and everything. And, like, no, no, this is going to turn out so bad. And then we're both, like, you know what? This could be really entertaining. So we let you go. <laughs> and they could see you were, like, visibly drunk. So you got shot down by all six in, like, 30 seconds. You came stumbling back over to us. <laughs> I know. That's I had fair. to pull them back. Sorry, man. You know? it's, it's worth it. I pulled them back. Thank God. Thank God. If you didn't pull me back. Yeah. I don't remember it, but I'm probably, I'm sure I would have got shot. Huh. No, I mean, probably. I played, like, you know, six girls. Probably not. Well, yeah. I mean, it's Boston, maybe. Stabbed, yeah. sprayed. I'd be waking up with puffy eyes. Something, man. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. When we get she back to Rice's house, up. like, you know, you get your shoes off. You manage to find your way up the stairs after, like, two minutes. And we get you over into, like, Rice's room, and he's, like, you know, saying, okay, like, you know, Minty can have the guest room. Cole one can have the couch downstairs. And as he's saying that, you pass out right in his bed. <laughs> and Rice, I'm like, well, it looks like you got the guest room now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was not. Hey, there's a bed over there, so yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So I've kind of made a vow to myself to never get really, really drunk unless I'm in a hotel room. But I thought I was fine, dude. I thought I was feeling really decent that night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know were. what happened. Until that and then one. those bombs just hit, dude. Yeah. Fuck. And then the whole rest of Pax East, I was just. Much me and Rice were both fucking feeling like one. shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I like I like I like our dance for you know night. That's pretty cool. Our dance party. Yo, you don't even remember, bro. We went to a dance club <laughs> the day oh, after. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, you went to a different party than me on Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we went to a dance club. <laughs> so it was hosting didn't invite us day. out for fucking uh, you know what's that food again? What's the where they making in front of you? Hibachi. hibachi hibachi you invite us out for no hibachi we did because right? people don't... couldn't people said no zulu's like i don't we don't want to do no like how pie. dare you zulu yeah. no i was kidding but yeah i really want to go to that so we went to, with rice's buddies who were at boston and they took us to this club and rice is just chilling there he's like get me with give me coke and whiskey and i'm like all right we just sitting there sipping it dude and we get him <laughs> to the point where he starts doing this shit like he's trying to dance but he's on the back and there's yeah. a huge amount of people, a disco ball. I was getting and ready, dude. I was getting and I, really I wish I was at that party. It was so great. After one no, drink, I started good. pushing rice, and I think... Yeah, no, I, I, your I, friend I, drink, I, drink, I, I drink like one and a half of those. But dance, moving around a lot helped me, like, you know, digest that. that, that oh, that my Lord. Stuff. Who says that at a party? I'm helping myself digest. Like, I need, come on. I needed yeah, it because a, I knew I was probably going to puke again drink. if I tried, you know, without moving around. So, yeah, it was really helpful. I kept doing There's, I kept doing this to Ryan. dances when they're drunk. Yeah, I was trying to get him to dance so hard. Finally, oh, yeah, dude, finally no, after we like went, two drinks, yeah. I started pushing him into people uh -huh. to get him in the front. So he's no, just we were all pushing. I, I, I was actually leading that, okay? I let them dance. <laughs> nah, I was, I I was shoving you in there, I remember. <laughs> no, then, no, 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 no. I, I we went in there. I, I asked, I was like, let's go. I, was, I said, let's go, man. I no, no, I remember fully. <laughs> okay. I forced your ass, oh, boy. Okay, I okay, forced, okay, after a little bit, you're like, I want to go back in. Because dancing's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Well, I think your buddy started having a dance-off. with. Yeah, I think it yeah, was the mafia. That's probably how I did it. I I think like it a, was no, it was a rich foreign... Foreign, foreign Asian. That man had tats and he had power. All right, that's all I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. He was there's some girls. He was oh, a dude, he was he was, he was people scary wide looking, happy. dude. And they they were having a great time. And I was yeah. dancing like freaking out, like we're gonna get. I was shot. like the support cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was but good. that was yeah, pretty fun. I tell that like faint or some shit. Like in the, yeah, like, nah, nah, it was a good time till that girl passed out yeah, on the like... dance floor. She got roofied. That was pretty sad. I don't know what happened to her, but you know. Yeah, what about your party? Well, I know you got like, hammered. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. It was like my squad that I drove up with. It was like twelve of us or something. And like eventually, like ten of them just like wanted to bail out and like just leave. And I was like, all right, I guess we're leaving. And like two of my boys, were like, oh, we'll just stay. We'll just get our own lift back. I'm like, okay, thank God, people want to stay. And like five minutes after that, like I see Zulu at the front. I'm like, when the fuck did Zulu get here? <laughs> So I wanted yeah. to go like you know say hi to him, but at that point I'm like eight Jack and Coke deep. So what he told me that I said to him was like, Zulu, it's so nice to meet you. Mean meanwhile I've met him multiple times in the past, but I guess that's the first words that came out of my mouth. But it was basically like, just like a rave for a while, uh, and eventually like me and my boys bailed out. I woke up the next morning with another hangover. So great decisions always. Uh, if you don't okay. wake up with a hangover, <clears throat> you're not doing it right. Apparently, you're right. <laughs> Twitch right. cut, I'm going to go so PC, though. I'm only going to have a couple beers and then fuck up at my own hotel room, dude. Yeah. Never again. Yeah. I'll oh. be joining that. Mm -hmm. I'll be joining, it, yes. Anyone anyone in chat, if you go to Twitch cut, let us know. TwitchCon we'll we'll San Diego, out. by the way. Nate, actually, 
bone saw yes. wants to try to get airbnb and i said you you might be down so that'd be oh, kind yeah, of cool. yeah of course man i would love to meet bone saw i've always been a fan you know let's be real yeah, yeah. i just got to get some funds in order dude we'll get a gofundme link down below everyone 100 <laughs> minimum would appreciate thank you all yeah. right <laughs> make sure you get the patreon oh, going hey we should talk about the trailer man before we uh, um, move on like i could play it have the trailer at um, the moment should we release it when Rake sees here? That is the question. Oh, okay, yeah. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> we we uh, we talked to a guy that was you know recommended by a well, Guns Chili, right? Yeah, to, yeah. To it's make Simon, a for us, and he right? edits for Perp, Skidler, and mm -hmm. Ron, and they're all funny as hell. And he made us yeah. a brilliant trailer. Yeah, I can't wait for... to reveal it to you guys. It's oh, hilarious, dude. Yeah, it's, Keith, it's a Keith seen one. it. It's yeah, amazing. It's yeah, we did a lot of uh, feedback, you know, like rounds, and yeah, we, I like it a lot. We like it a lot, so we're gonna put that out soon. Probably when Rixie gets back, we talking Indeed. talk with him about it. Everyone, create some buzz for OSR's yeah. podcast. This couple next yeah. weeks, we're gonna blow up. Be like, oh, yeah. have you heard Please of this? And when they don't say anything, just you know, yeah, Please now they know. Grandma. Especially the grandmas, <laughs> the grandmas, dude, anyway. the hottest. Shall we? Yeah, let's let's move Shall on. Shall we jump man. into some RuneScape, dude? Yeah, Cole One's okay, gonna lead us yeah. lead us charging with this clue scroll update that happened uh, a week ago. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of it. It yeah. just means I get to do more clues since I want all the items that aren't third age and gilded, and they released a whole entire new tier that I haven't even cracked on yet. Yeah, tell but... us your, the backstory of you know how you got into so many goddamn hard clues and all that shit is shenanigans. I mean, oh, that's for another reason, but I already like clues as it was. Like, I liked uh -huh. them ever since released back in, like, 2004, 2005. And my second hard clue I ever did back then had a Gilded Plate body. My dumbass had no idea what it was. Really? So, I think oh, I got scammed when I sold it. I sold it for, like, 900k, so I'm <laughs> pretty sure I got scammed back then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, like, 5 but, mil. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it had was, like, to be 14 over or something. Yeah. 14, yeah, back in the day, possibly. I don't I don't know yeah. the prices. Yeah, yeah no, so... Like um, way back when. I always loved got... doing them. You got into hard clue scrolls like like hard like you've been doing it for <laughs> for you know a good reason right mm -hmm. yeah, right so you're the smartest man here but your vocabulary right now <laughs> yeah I, look i just woke up like 30 uh, minutes ago okay get some uh, coffee bro jesus Christ. i got water i'm good you're into hard clues coffee is not water hard yeah but i'm saying anyways yeah like <laughs> expand on, on the on the grinding recently with the hard clues because you've oh, yeah, done 500 weeks. how many have you done now what? No, oh. I'm almost at 900 right now. Oh, like the only 900? The one I, I just did you, was that's why I said hard. 890, I've done 894 hard so far. Dude, you're on my level, man. Yeah. One, how many hard clues you've 200. Mm, that's how much you've any keepers. For reference, I'll show you how many jellies he's killed. 28,230 <laughs> at the catacombs. That's that's a lot of jellies. I do deep bloody hellhounds, but I guess you don't get any items uh, from hellhounds. I mean, nice. yeah, I could do those, but they're slower than jelly. Yeah. What? Jelly, yeah. Oh, are you yeah, barraging them? Yeah. You yeah. Nah, you nerd. Of course. What do you mean, man? <laughs> man? I just want the fastest way to get it. Yeah. There gotta be some good ass magic. So why are there. you getting it? Uh, exactly. purple sweet, so I can solo the theater more. Yeah. So if you guys didn't know, uh, Mr. Colin is the only Iron Man that actually does um solo theater of blood because you know he's a madman, and it requires a lot of purple sweets because he has to take eat like a uh, mother trucker. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, How many like have you done? 160. Uh, did my fifth one the other night. And a guy's gonna be up next yeah. week. Hey, right? you want to show that clip of you uh, uh, glitching the green orb, the green bar? Uh, I don't have it on hand, but I can get it. Yeah, I'm yeah. Fighting yeah. Teaser right now. I don't want to oh, die. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Yeah. Usually go to mine and just type uh, exclamation point green ball. Mm -hmm. You'll find it. But it's somewhere in there. Yeah. It's like a new trick that me and Exact figured out a few days ago. Must have been a. Like, we oh, saw a clip yeah. of uh, Let's Elaine in, like, surviving the Green Ball to Redemption. We're like, how the fuck did that happen? So we started shooting ideas back and forth, and we started a duo, and we brought DS2 orbs with us, and we're like, okay, we'll try Tick Redemption Green Ball. And then it worked, and we both started freaking out. So we got Versic down to 22%, so we just, oh, like, we made the room last, like, 20 minutes, and just right. kept repeating the so, scenario. So, for context, um, during, during the last phase of Versic, she does an attack that it's a green ball attack it'll hit you for 74 guaranteed but yeah Cole went somehow to manage to glitch it with the redemption order yeah you can't tick eat that thing but you can tick redemption it so we figured that out. I'm like oh I can save three brews every single run now Crazy. just bringing more stuff like a set of claws yeah you did it three so you times hit during that fight <clears throat> mm -hmm. you hit redemption and it doesn't kill you you click the ds2 orb so it does a zero to you 
with the DS2 orb when you're on 1 HP, but even if you get a hit of 0 when you have redemption up, it'll still trigger it. So you just do it at the same time, and it... So it, it kind of like a peanut in a way. Yeah, it kind of cancels it. Pretty much. Because it's That's always supposed dope. to hit a 74. That's like, some next-level shit, Wooks. Where the yeah. fuck are you at, man? Next podcast, Wooks. Confirmed. Yeah, all right. even Wooks didn't do that, you know, but... It's yeah, all good. Geez, so He dude. soloed it with, with, while be doing it a bit crazier, so... Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. Let's, though, move, let's talk about the clues then, Mr. Coleman. <laughs> um, sure, I guess. Jump into some clues. Yeah, we got a lot it? of cool items in there. Okay. What, the yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah. Now, hold on, let me pull it up. Did you know you there's a, a lot of pure items coming out? New max strength boots for peers and also yeah. a kill. Um, which, it, why the fuck is one, it a kill? I don't think that one passed the poll anymore. No, it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. Oh, it's, oh, um, yeah. what is it, two strength? Uh, it's one strength in the leg oh, slot, no requirements, oh, and it okay. comes from elite clues. I see. Climbing boots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Rice, call guess the max hit for a pure of a DDS now. Well, you could still wear climbing boots, could you not? Before? If you wear spike manacles, and you get plus four strength off of them. Oh. It... Yeah, give it a guess, yeah, That's a glove. Give it a Fremenic kilt. Wait, you can wear a Fremenic kilt? I think there's some no Fremenic kilt, oh, the leg oh, thing. Oh, the Please. kilt. All right, that's like an extra two damage, maybe, from all that I'm stuff. Not here, numbers. I will I beat know. someone's ass. I don't know. Give the it a guess, it. dude. Come on, Rice. Guess a number uh, between what zero weapon? and fifty. With what? With what weapon? DDS, man. Um. All right, let's go for uh thirty-five. Nope. That's it. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven, dude. Oh, I'll see. I was Holy close. Shit. I was close. close. Yeah. Imagine a pure hitting a 37, 37. I know, that's crazy. I, I mean, Fuck yeah. that. Think about it this oh. way. Before the update, I would have been right. I would call 35. <laughs> yeah. Before the update, I would have been right. Well, you should have estimated that, huh? Uh, what? That's close, man. I'm Think about I'm the combo close. pure can pull off on you. They far cast barrage on you, like, you know, max distance, delay the hit. Come in, DDS Jamal, you for 37, 37, 40. You're dead. Plus the, it's the barrage. Evil. Even though yeah. Phoenix oh, can't save you there. Only thing is you need an Inferno to hit that. Yeah, that's 36. an extra damage with Inferno. It's not that hard. Just go get it. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'm up here. Maybe my baby <laughs> pure will be good. Uh, okay, what do you think the max hit is with an AGS? Uh, like 70? 72. Oh, my God. Why am I always too off? <laughs> <laughs> Next time, just... Say your guess and then say two numbers. Yeah, you know what's funny? I haven't played a single day in my life of pure PKing. Yet I somehow still can guess it pretty good. <laughs> well, I mean, still a 72. Oh, yeah. I know. Just insane. take 10 off the max hit. Pure. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, because you, you'd you be hitting like uh, low 80s on, on a main with that. No, you'd hit over an 80 on yeah, a main. Yeah, low, low 80s. Low 80s. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Never mind. <clears throat> my brain went Not be weird 80s, there. You know? Crazy. Yeah. What, Crazy what about these max beginner clue scrolls, really? Oh yeah, let's jump right back to those. Oh, yeah, so I haven't done a cool new cosmetic items, and that's about it. Yeah, um, it's what about for the free um, play. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have the monk robe set, which is pretty cool. I, I don't know how much are, that's going um, for. Um, uh, beginner rewards, right, right there. Yeah, well, you were talking about beginner, right? They have new monk. Those <laughs> yeah, look badass, the and they're very, they're not very expensive anymore. I don't think some of them are still mm -hmm. are. Some of them still are. Like the parrot, it's still like a mill. Or something. Yeah, because really? the parrot's legit, man. I want one. Because like you basically <laughs> I, have it on top of your shoulder, so it looks like you know, cool as fuck. And that's a cape slot or an ammo slot? Cape slot. Cape slot. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, you got the sandwich lady outfit, so you can cosplay. <laughs> I didn't know about the sandwich lady. <laughs> God yeah, yeah, damn you it, dude! Right there. Mm -hmm. Fucking RuneScape. Um, you got your gilded Rune scimitars for the three main gods. Yeah. I've seen yeah. those. Those are badass. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are the uh, the items names uh, in text. So, um, easy rewards. This one, I think my favorite one has to be the uh, Cape of Skulls. I'll show you in a bigger format. This is what Ooh, it looks like. Space. Yeah, I saw a friend's video. He sold two of them for uh, 50 mil a pop. Ooh, what? And they're still going for that? or? Um, no, they're probably they're like floating 20 right 24, now. 24 mil oh, right my still, still, that's insane. <laughs> that's fucking People insane. want to be edgy as fuck, don't they? Look at that thing, man. Yeah, and uh, you put it on, it automatically scolds you. Really? Mm -hmm. that's, that's something, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's free to play too, so that I that could probably add to the value. That's the yeah, coolest thing. It just looks nice. Yeah. It looks nicer than an amulet of Everice. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would buy that if I was in free to play, and that's all I could do is free to play. Take me a few years, but you know. Yeah, it's fantastic fashion scape. 
It's, it's honestly what yeah. this game's all about. It's not about like you know PKing or PVMing or skilling. It's about fashion scape. Exactly. Be serious. Yeah, and for about role playing medium. and fashion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mediums the spike monocles right there. Um, yeah, that's plus four strength, and yeah, I don't think there's any other stats G on it. Right there. They have climbing boots G now, so that's cool. Climbing oh. boots G. Yeah. Ingenious. More... And they also have vamps gilded as well, that you could trim your vamps. Or, I mean, well, you can get. Yeah, that's, uh, that's at the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Gilded vamps, gilded uh, D hide top, bottom, and coif. I hate Jagger's. I haven't seen the gilded D hide yet. Does that go for a lot? It looks really cool. Bro, I hate Jagger's round the heraldic shit. Four or five that? new heraldic bodies for Addy no one Cameron. wants it. Dude. I don't want it. Yeah, nobody wants it. <laughs> no one gives a shit about heraldic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hard. Are you someone got... equipped? No. <clears throat> it looks. Dis... Wait, hold on a minute. Where are you in game? I got to show you what the uh, what one of them looks like. I'm in so sand crabs. World three oh nine. Anyways, right. give we me have, like two minutes. We have the hard on the ones. island. I like the. Uh, I got to get there. there. Hell yeah, baby! Yeah, Ten like k or something, right? Ten k. Uh, He's, he's double thinking his idea here. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can afford it, but like, damn. Yeah, dude. For hard clues, we got third age play skirt. New third age. We got a few third ages that came out. A um, couple third ages. I mean, I know about the nice. elite stuff. And yeah, yeah. No, the master. Masters. But what about the hard? Yeah, the hard yeah. Got the the, skirt. It's the same one. Elites and hard gets the same third age skirt. Skirt, skirt. You know, the play but is skirt. there more There's for more. third age in the hards? Yeah, the juretic stuff is later on. That's from Masters. Of yeah, Dome. um also Harku's got some new ornament kits. What are they? Berserker necklace ornament kit, all of emo ornament kit, gilded rune defender kit. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I got both of those. Those are really nice. Oh man, I, I wanna do Harku's again. Shit. Anyway. Yeah, the Obi Mall shit is it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Oh wait, hold on. Let me go get, let me go grab those two while I'm making a trip out there. We'll showcase yeah, bro, with you the, do uh... a lot of clues, man. Yeah. Yo, wait, what are you showcase showcasing? Like... I'm the one recording, man. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show it fine. I'll like teleport to you too. Yeah, you have to come to me. Party. World yeah. 309, Sand Crab Island. Bring 10 yeah, no, it's our meeting spot. right now, man. 365. <laughs> you lazy bastard. Yeah, I ain't moving. Come join my <laughs> peer at Sand Crabs. Okay, anyways. Um, Elite's got a lot of gilded shit. The van braces that you were talking about here. Mm -hmm. the, the, the gilded rune pickaxe, gilded rune axe, gilded spade. So who has, who's has who gotten that? Oh, the gilded spade. I want I that. I want thing that, so dude. <laughs> I would dump all of my other spades just so I can have a... Like, it works the same way as a regular spade? I don't... I don't no, think you it's can just dig with it. Spade. Oh, yeah, you can't no. dig with it. Why can I dig? Why? Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't they make me? A, you know, able to dig? That'd be amazing. Too much coding. You advertise yourself to PKers. Like, hey, come kill me. <sighs> come on, man. I would love to be able to farm and just show up to some somebody farming and just like, you know, plow through with a golden spit. Like, what the hell is it? Oh yeah. shit! It's free for me. I have the diary done. Uh, oh well. Yeah. Anyways, the the one you, the one that has the most. Uh, I guess swag is definitely the master rewards, the the gildeds, uh, I mean the third age druidic set, right there. Dude, I heard Oak was trying to buy a top and bottom three bill each. Yeah, it's probably only a less than five. It looked you know. like a princess. I I'm not judging, man. That's a lot of money though. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah, I think Sparma bought like the first one in the G. I don't I don't fucking doubt it. Yeah. Oh, I think I figured out which one you are. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. Never stupid. mind. There's two options. <laughs> and of course, the mimic boss. That's the new thing they added to. It um, looks like a checkers like... board on your chest, dude. It looks. Yeah, it literally out. look like I work for checkers. Yeah. It's basically an add-on to elites and masters. You have a chance to fight this boss, which basically, if you beat it, it can um, it'll add an extra roll to your regular uh, drop. Oh, it has the spike stuff up top. The Obi Mall trimmed. Wow. Yeah, that... And the Zerker necklace got the yeah, red Yeah, you can take a it. picture of Cole. Oh, you got you can, the Obi. You can Giazor it, and I, I can uh, show it in the... All right, all right. Yeah, give me a sec here. I got you. Yeah, Um. so the Mimic box is like... It's not too hard. I fought it. It's it's just a kite. It's a boss where you kite around, and you just kill it with... It's fucking you know, legit. Range. But you also right. um can get a third age ring from oh, this boss. Oh, he already did it faster than me. Well, suck my ass. Yeah, so this is uh the third age ring. It looks like a freaking donut. Like a stale donut, but yeah, the visuals on it are pretty gross. <laughs> yeah, but you can transfer yourself into any third age. Uh, I think Sears was using it to lure people, well, not lure, but like bait people into sculling in the wilderness. But they patched that already. But yeah, I, I think he was. I heard you couldn't use it in the wild anymore. Which is probably why yeah. it's so cheap. Yeah, no, it used you. You were able to because he made a video on it, and then they patched it, like Rafter.
Who was falling for that trick in the wild, though? Oh, it's 44 wild. Is that a third age helm? Uh, I don't know. Fucking... Yeah, but you can use it and apparently, like, not get attacked or some shit like that. Oh, oh really? Yeah, really yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one looked like. My bad. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's cool. It's got, you know, mini spikes and a red trim. Hey, man. Obi Maulers are a niche They'll community and They'll they deserve it. this, man. It looks pretty sick. Hey, I'm surprised yeah. it didn't. It, 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 it passed the poll. You know what's funny? If they said. This would uh this would uh help with Obi Mall PK builds. If they said that, they would be like, no. Oh, value to it. instantly. Yeah, good thing they didn't word it like that, you know. Good thing they didn't. We need baby pure fucking gear. I need a Zamorak trim staff or something. So when I'm slapping ass, people know I'm rich, you know. Yeah. Or some elder trim robes, something like that, man. Ooh, Let's get that's such a pure. nice idea. Trimmed oh, oh, chaos trim elder robes. druid robes. Let's wow. get it. Yeah, that'd be dope. Mod mint, baby. I'm coming in, yeah. dude. I and got also, Photoshop paint. For the last few bits, stackable caskets. You can't stack clues, but you can stack caskets. So, like, you can do 100 medium clues and hold on to the caskets and open them all at once. Which is... Yeah, it's really nice for content creators. Yeah. I was I was joking, cool. man. There goes Karim's content, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, he used to juggle <laughs> and suicide, you know, to, like, you know, keep... Yeah, he put them like, all on the floor. Yeah. And now you don't say, have to. Now what? No now what, man? What so happened to those videos? Inventory. I don't know, man. I feel like everyone's already like in his business, you know, doing clue scrolls like him nowadays. And yeah, that's it. That's it for that. Um, I think the next big topic is, um, you know, good old warding. Oh my God, I have. Right, where's this. the article for that? Right here. Right oh, here. it's it's in the it's in the chat. So you just click on it. So, I, we were talking about this before we started the podcast. That one of us has to be for warding so we can have a good discussion. I and no be one volunteered. I will be, I will be you, You're going to be it? Okay, but then again, see, it. the thing is, is that I will only talk about the good points that I think are good points. But I won't like talk as much. the cape looks nice. I won't <laughs> talk as much about the bad points. Yeah, so. The, the cape's pretty. Yeah. I'm not saying I, I, I support it, but I will talk about the good points. I'll, I'll reinforce it. You heard it here. Points. Rice wants warding no, in the game, man, and he wants whole results this. to be mm -hmm. uh, shown. <laughs> No. Yeah, that's the next thing we complain about. Poll after results after are yeah. hidden. Yeah. How dare they? How dare, how dare they hide our poll results? Mm hmm No, I want why them to. Why are our faces frozen, Rice? Tell us. Oh, this. sorry, sorry. I, I can I remember. I, I minimize the value. God damn it. Such a scuffed cast right now. What do you mean? All right. I anyways. mean best. All right. You want to take the raincoat one? I feel like you're, you're good with this. All right, let's look at this. Something introduction... 5,000 people brought feedback of it. The skill described just felt like old school and filled a gap in content. They wanted more useful rewards. Imbue rings moved to warding, uh, dissolving stuff. So they want to kind of make something like invention in a sense to filter some stuff out of the game. Can you explain what invention is for all the people who don't know? I know what it's, invention is. Yeah, Rice knows more than I do. Because I've I gotten other. 99 invention on my Arsenal. Oh, dude, I didn't mean for you to flex there, man. Let's just hear a summary. Bro. I know, yeah, man, I know the shit. Okay, so basically, <laughs> invention is a skill where anything that exists in the game, pretty much like armor, resources, weapons, you can use that skill to dismantle it to get like parts, basically, right? You're like salvaging parts. And then you can use those parts to create new things. And the new things for invention could apply like to anything. Like it could help you with uh, fighting monsters. It could help you with skilling. Like, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of. But idea. you can't really make a new thing. Like you can't tape a DDS onto a Gmall and then run out in the Oh wild. no, you can like augment no. your weapons and armor. Because <laughs> that and then would you be amazing. To make your tools better. So so basically, Imagine it was a skill. EGS. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you couldn't fuse weapons, no, but you could strengthen whatever exists in the game, right? But it was um, on, in, in terms of item sync, it was insanely successful because you know how old R three is, fifteen years old, tons of shit in the game that never left. So invention basically helped clear up a ton of like the ocean. Like just imagine fifteen years worth of Barrow's armor and weapons just mm -hmm. stacked, you know, never to leave. It's just so there's so many and. So and you're telling me all those prices in RuneScape three that are already fucked, those are the good ones? Yeah, they got they got back <laughs> up a lot. Like Barrel's pieces are like in the mills still in Austria because people basically dismantle them. I heard like AGS's DFS, everything is yeah, really yeah. at like alk price almost. Yeah, those are yeah, some some weapons that don't dismantle for worthy components, they're still like, you know, not not worth the money. You know Divine's like six mil, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have too many uses. Then RS3 yeah. gold, mm -hmm. 6 mm -hmm. mil. It's not much. Yeah, so, like a... so the ones that are dismantleable are good. Pretty pretty good. But yeah, it's really niche uses. Stuff like the Vines Rivers. So they're sure. going to try to bring that into warding so they can take away some of these weird item like what would that be what kind of yeah. items would they be taking oh, away get into that yeah <clears throat> so basically this part explains where like you know how it fits the gap like you know smithing creates armor crafting <clears throat> and fletching creates range stuff and now warding creates magic yeah so that's the difference from invention is that invention used to apply everything you know like any any skill pvm but i think warding is more going towards the route of supporting magic making magic better i guess so it takes away Black Dehyde? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll learn more about what it will dismantle. I like, I like the color. It's very pretty. The, the artists, I swear, are doing really good work here. They're doing yeah. God's work. Yeah, Mod West. I still don't like this. Mod West is really talented. With Brilliant. I love, mm -hmm. I love his work. Yeah, they explain how like, the dissolving effect works, I guess, the invention aspect of it, where you can dissolve, like, what they say here is a steel plate body. There's a chance you get a steel bar, and then there's a 100% chance that you get the component to train it something called vise this or whatever the runic energy thing so well, it's like another right. way to train it so i guess i got to start stocking up on stuff this passes yeah, yeah if much passes. merch i'll wait till it passes because i don't, I don't want to... and there's something i agree with like right below it how they're going to change a lot of the uh the already existing magic gear so let's see shade stuff would actually get magic stats that are relevant like right now they give zero now they give like six and five respectively Split bark would become, I guess, kind of relevant. Same with skeletal, lunar. Skeletal got... would be nice to see. So yeah, yeah they're rebalancing some of the stats for some of the older gear. Because right now it's just Zerikin. <laughs> Zerikin, yeah, Zerikin, Zerikin, man. All the no, man, the real way to go is Moon Clan. Yeah, oh, Moon Clan, fuck those that. people. Oh, I'm, I'm, one, I'm one of those people, dude. They're the worst people. Dude, I'm not going to go gather fabric, man. Right, uh, Mystic Body is 30 magic, right? Moon Clan Body is 22 magic. Why? And it has the fence. No, that's, that's not Moon Clan. That's Lunar. Sorry, Lunar. lunar. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. There's wait. There's oh god. I'm a new. Oh okay, okay. Where's the Moon Clan one? I don't know where. Moon Clan doesn't getting changed. I like oh, how they okay, have priest okay. robes. It's not okay. a mage set, motherfuckers. It's... It is now. God damn no, it, man! Dude, it's not as good as Mystic, though. You know what I mean? So you still gonna be pretty not. Mystic. Yeah, oh, it isn't because it look the body's twenty two magic. Mystic tops thirty. Uh, is it thirty? Right. Mr. Top's 30? You're asking the wrong 25? people. We need to go to our sponsor to find out. <laughs> uh, hey. yeah. uh, God damn it. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this isn't as good as Mystic. Wait, well, let, let me see what they say. Luna requires 65 magic. Yeah, has lower magic attack than Cerexian robes. It requires to unlock or arguably consider my harder. Okay. Uh, it's major in the quest. Uh, you are a horrible reader. <laughs> no, it's just I don't want to read the whole thing, you know. To the... Boy, this is a podcast. That is the point. You read yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, but like the thing is, it's not important. It's just not important. Damn. Yeah, the All right, I'll scroll to something more important then. Yeah, this uh, takes not, not better though. So we're talking about the imbuements. I, yeah. Dude, I don't know too much about wording. I just know that I'm not excited mm -hmm. for it. Yeah, so the context for the imbues is that they don't want it to be in Nightmare Zone anymore, which I agree. Nightmare Zone's a private server as fuck. So they were saying... Mm -hmm. Here's here's the deal. If warning passes, we'll put the imbues in that skill. If it doesn't pass, it doesn't matter. We'll still take it away and p push it somewhere else. So so at some point, imbues will be obtained through other means. That is oh, yeah. kind of yeah. they have a list how they put it. Right. You need to imbue certain things. Yeah, and uh, to alleviate some concerns, they're they're uh, uh, adding some info. A great spirit to get the required level. Otherwise, their rings will will be un. Um, Wait, uh, your well, rings will unimbue? Yeah. Wow. Allow the new item to be purchased for Never Zone points for a set amount of weeks. Add the new items onto a new drop table slash reward shop. Convert Never Zone ring eyes into unimbue ring and, and a new item. Okay, so it feels like they really want wording the pass because they're not oh, going to yeah, tell us sure. how you're, you're going to imbue it. So they're kind of dangling. If it's not this, it's going to be something else. Yeah. And that mystery is going to make people go, I don't want to fucking do something else. Let's just pass warding. And I don't <laughs> like that, man. They shouldn't dangle that shit. This is a huge update. We should want warding into the game because we want it in the game, not because we want to fucking imbue things easier. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very dumb. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, the, the imbues should be tackled at a later date. 
you know, mm-hmm. just just deal with the Power Warren. Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is F two P stuff. Oh, it's an F two P skill. Okay, because mm-hmm. it kind of falls under like smithing and yeah. rune crafting, and all right, that makes sense. Yeah, I feel okay. like most of the stuff would just fit under the rune crafting skill, but they're making a whole new skill for it. Mm-hmm. What the hell? Mm-hmm. So. Are new items coming into the game for F2P as well? Yeah, these. Oh. Oh, yeah. I thought those were just the wizards outside of Falador. I don't... Yeah, they're <laughs> taking No, they're making them into robes. Yeah, they're taking inspiration from them. Dude, the wilderness is going to be lit. You just see a bunch yeah. of fucking colorful Dude, people four, running four around people, the wilderness. Four elemental power rangers. The There's elemental literally just going to be a rainbow party. <laughs> All right, I'm voting yes. They've sold me. Yeah. I want to see that. Mm-hmm. But, uh... I don't know, man. I feel like warding itself makes sense, right? Yeah, right? yeah. It in makes a simple sense. level. It can go into the lore. Uh, it seems like it has some good properties, but overall, not really that excited about it. Don't like the imbuing thing, and I think there's... Yeah, I feel like that should be tackled at a different date. Definitely. Somewhere else. They should not have to add that onto a, a skill, or at least make it for that reason to be passing. They should come up with a couple ideas, like, oh, you know, want to imbue? Here's five ideas. What do you guys like? Something like that. Yeah, that be that that would be a nice. But I guess thematically, it's like they really want it to be a part of warding, just cause it makes sense. Cause it's like making magic here. You're like you know enhancing with magic, but it doesn't really matter to me at this point. I'm I'm just like yeah, I would prefer if they just gave a few options. You know, like warding being one of them, and then three other options or something. We can just vote on it and then call it a day. But yeah, these are some of the new higher level stuff. Wait, actually, no, this isn't. Where's the new high level stuff? Robes. Oh, yeah, go, scroll down eventually, start getting into Bloodborne, and, like Dagon High, Soul Bar, 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 Bro, no, That's some Skyrim are, yeah. shit. Okay, so the the new armors, um, this this graphic is basically showing the lowest tier of new armors to the highest tier of new armors. So you got Arceus here, uh, hat top and bottom. Just absolute trash. And these are the stats, you know, 8, 8, 4 for hat. And then it sounds it, like new rag gear. Yeah, and then it gets progressively uh, better here. We got Arceus. Oh, they put fucking favor. Come on, man. Yeah. Why do they gotta add favor? Uh, and Arceus favor don't even take that long. Yeah, Arceus favor is easy though. It takes like oh, 20 yeah, minutes. Oh yeah, suck their favor, dick, dude. Why do they gotta add favor? Dude, Arceus skill, favor is man. baby bones. Oh, All the favors like man. dumb easy now. You just do like the quest in like thirty minutes. Like I mean, they are considerably good. Twenty one attack for the torso. I tell you, if they hit the poll results. And they said, hey, do you want to get rid of favor? And then they put it up on a poll. Yeah, that shit would pass with like 90%. Because that's All like right. saying, do you want a million dollars? Of course. I will fucking yeah, it's like million. saying, hey, this is fucked. We don't want it in the game. Can we just do things on Zaya without having to unlock them through tedious grinding? That's okay. fine. I feel like that's okay. It's just the way they did before it's suck. Right, like, but... The way they did before <sighs> suck. Because like, if you try to do it, do both at the same time, like to different cities you lose points for the other it was like what the hell is this it's like that's that was stupid oh yeah we're so getting pretty much a oh ice right, cream here it. and then we have the blood bark here which is so bark here 24 so it's starting to match like mystics i think mystic top now now the thing about uh 20 magic attack actually right it says there's a chance of soaking melee damage oh yeah this is where yeah, yeah, this, is, this a... is where i start drawing the line when i start seeing crap like this what yeah yeah okay. yeah yeah that's too strong the passive like look at the defensive stuff it's all it's already you know it's got significant it has defense, defense. yeah mm-hmm. it, i don't think you want you need to soak damage because just just having these defense uh base stats on its own it could tank like some specs for sure i mean it, to be fair it's like half the defense of bandos well, but the thing is, you like have offensive. You have significant offensive magic, though, too, to boot. That's insane. But no negative stats. There's no negative stats in, in these armor sets at all. I don't. I don't know. I, I guess they're going for a tank mage, but just but, to yeah, kind of. I think fifty percent is insane, bro. Because think about it this way: if yeah. I EGA spec uh, seventy, that's only a thirty-five. And then you have melee per it's only like a fifteen. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I, I mean, honestly, I feel like five percent, ten percent, if they want to go that route. They shouldn't even not? touch it. They should yeah. more go into like um, uh, penetrating their uh, uh, opponent's magic defense, maybe, to make it stronger. Not that, because well, the thing is in hybriding. Tank. It's supposed to be a tank style gear, so it has to have like some sort of tank style mechanic. That is fucked though, because 
in, in um in breeding pretty much when you see somebody put on robes that's when you go for the special attack you fake yeah. and you go for that because they never have defense yeah imagine having something skillful and you wait for the robe switch and then this prox and you don't get the kill yeah you already have rng to look so, forward to but... i would say you know you know how it's like the elijah type of deal it's so expensive yeah. that most people aren't gonna bring it so you're not gonna have to worry about it for the most part but i don't know if this thing's gonna be expensive though i feel like this I mean, this is something that can be mass produced is it not yeah you can just create it so yeah so like i said it'll just be the new rag armor yeah yeah imagine then, if you have that anna elion man. yeah i would not want this in the game just because if something that can be mass produced without having people to like grind a you know significant boss or something and have this in insane effect um that no way <laughs> that that's just yeah. not that we're not, I'm not what's the defense you need for it um, Dragging in the wilderness say, is already an issue. Split, uh, split bark armor. That's about like 40? 40? Right? Yeah, it's probably like a main... Uh, I mean, Pierce can't use it for sure. There's no way Pierce can use this. It's so they'd be, be uh, kind like of promoting different builds mid, then. Yeah, mid to main level accounts are going to be using this. But yeah, okay. it's, if it's mass producible, definitely not 50%. That's stupid. No. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yeah. Oh my god. Who who typed that up and said, yup? I love the arbitrary 50%. I'm like, bro, at least not even 50%, man. Like, the, its average reduction is only 21%, and you ha you're making armor that is mass reducible at 50%. Okay, get out of here with that shit. Yeah, lower this to, like, either 10% or no percent, basically, and, and I think we'll, we'll be fine. And then I'm, I'm more than okay, right, because... Otherwise, there's no problems. With that, armor, yeah, those right? defense, like that's pretty decent for magic armor. Yeah, you get you can mass produce that. It's yeah, still you get strong. You put these. Yeah, on? the defense is higher than uh than black di. I think black di has like fifties or something in melees. Yo, yeah. What the fuck is this? This is an improved version of blood bark armor with increased magical damage that scales of how close your opponents are. What the? Yes, yeah, so it means like if you're close and personal. Dude, yeah, no. So... But here's the little thing here: magic damage only uh, against aquatic enemies. <laughs> Why did they change that to that? I don't. That was weird. Oh, oh magic damage yeah. only against enemies. So that means what the per three percent bonus? I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like that's just so random because like, what 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 does Soul Bark have to do with aquatic enemies? You know. Um, I don't know. Are you fighting crap underwater? Oh wait, maybe Hydra. I guess would be counted as. Nah, I, I, don't think, I don't think Hydra is a. Aquatic base, unless people are like, you saying that this armor base? is only for PVM? No, they're still talking about the magic damage, uh, like at what? the bottom where it's like you know, plus three percent magic strength that only applies to water based enemies, I guess. That's so weird. Nah, that's that's just ah, that's just weird. Okay, so this improved version will with increased magic damage and skills with how close you are. Does it also have the soaking ability? Well, the uh, the cosmos, I think so, yeah. It's yeah. just an improved version of uh, yeah. They need to get rid of the soaking ability. That's that's too strong. Holy mm -hmm. shit, that's way too strong. Soaking ability. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, these these two need some major work. I mean, I'm okay with the defense, but I'm not okay with like that fifty percent reduction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just too crazy. I mean, to be fair, it's got no range defense, so you're just bolting. Oh yeah, there you go. The rag range wins again, dude. Yeah, yep. it's, it's just Both like you can't, you don't want to go for like a melee spec as much because, you know, your, your chance of you missing is higher now. The biggest problem with hybriding, dude, black dehyde and rag range. And what do they do? Fuck it. Just zero range defense. We're really worried about melee because that is a definite worry about far casting is if you can hit them with melee. Mm-hmm. Dude. Mm-hmm. I love yeah, it. the dude's far casting on you with uh with blood bark. I'm just like okay, pull out the ballista and just punish him. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just can't right, do anything. So I guess the magic percent is like only for aquatic enemies, but there isn't really many. So, um, I don't know. It's kind of like a maybe a PK setup for mains. If it's mass producible, yeah. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Oh my god, this one's insane. Dagon high. Yeah, that's for Ohm. That's literally for Ohm. Oh no, the Kin Hunters for Ohm. Dagon High is for. Oh wait, wait, what? Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that this Kin Hunters for for dragons. Oh, they just oh it's just it's just the same thing. They just have two different names. Yeah, Dagon High is for undead, and then Kin Hunters for uh for dragons. All right, Matt, boys, try to explain yourself too, so people can follow along. Cause I'm yeah, we're just going like, down through the armor set right now. Well, yeah, just explain what you're thinking, though. I mean, what's yeah, that Yeah, yeah, I will, I will. These, the Great Bull have improved damage against undead enemies. 
So Dagon High is the salve amulet of magic, basically. Oh, that's insane because, ooh, barraging gorillas, man. That's crazy. And you would have a damage bonus on top of that? Yes, yeah, 15% if you put all three items. Oh, shit, mm -hmm. boy. And that's mass producible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it degrades. But yeah, you can just make more. Uh, I wish it, I wish they'd make it, like, the components to make it, like, rare or something. But, but the So thing what is, would I, the I max people... damage be with Barrage, with a cult, Tormented, and this armor set? Well, it's 15%, so just imagine another occult. A cult, it usually gives uh, two You could be half. hitting, like... 40 42 yeah, the uh, kin then, hunter maybe. the kin hunter is going to be um an extra four damage approximately fuck dude yeah. and mass producible i mean well, Jesus then again Christ. ancestral was uh two percent each at six percent and that was about one and a half damage so this is a big big power this is crazy because they're comparing it towards smithing right where you can make armor for that yeah, certain smithing thing. Is trash. but you never made a rune plate body <laughs> uh, that yeah. could do like 10 percent more damage to the yeah. undead you know, yeah. like, what the fuck? This right, let's be, let's really... be honest, though. Let's be honest. Smithing was made back when root armor was the best armor. So that's why. We're that's what they're it's comparing it to. Skill. That's kind of their whole fucking gimmick is that this yeah, is just yeah. going to complete. Except they're, yeah, they're comparing triangle. a concept from a long time ago. But and honestly. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. I mean, you can make magic stuff. So that's the premise. But yeah, it's like they're matching it to today's standards, right? You're, they're matching it to Aram's. Which wasn't around when you know smithing first came out. They're comparing to ancestral, which obviously wasn't out either. They're comparing it to all those things that we introduced. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited for like a new setups when it comes to mage PKing, yeah, etc. Um, just to the see Dagen different builds, but these are strong. Yeah, the Dagon is exclusively PVM based though. This one's definitely yeah. PVM that's that's why it's kind of weird. And also, Kin Hunter exclusively PVM based. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Is there any major undead bosses or something that would? Verion. Yeah, but, but you, now with mage. you don't hit that with mage. Exactly. <laughs> so I, the only really awesome thing I can think of is you do now. Yeah. Uh, maybe some slayer tasks. Um. Obviously gorillas of your magic training. If wait, you, wait, if, wait, wait. So if undead. you were to have that armor set on plus a salve ei, right? Salve yeah, ei only be, works for one one NPC though. Oh really? Yeah, you can't, you can't stack the. Yeah, that's why people wear anguish. It's because anguish's really? effect actually applies to everything. Um, Whereas sound, it that. only affects the thing that you hit with, like the you the sure? one that you click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why people don't bring south when they're killing I see the people gorillas. bringing south still. <laughs> oh yikes, man! Yeah, they don't know about it. Yeah, but yeah I didn't know about more. that, but I never thought to bring south. Yeah. Nor they really train at gorillas. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought yeah. that's how it worked. Okay. Yeah. Maybe this yeah. will have the same uh, application then, right? Let's be let's be honest. The spaghetti coating with the south. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like it's gonna have the same thing. Then you won't be able to hit multiple people. Yeah. Yo, Kin Hunter is insane. This one is so broken because you know how many bosses there are in the game, right? That are dragon based. That, and, yeah. and we're going to the dragon book dragon pieces. pit and taverly dungeon baby with fire yeah. strike and, and outside of dragon bosses there's also a lot of dragon enemies too that magic is really good at such as metal dragons so so these this the magic rope will spank will spank like you know metal dragons up to i, I would say mythro because like you don't really don't want to mage addy and rune dragons because they hit hard as fuck with their with their attacks i wonder what the max it with fire yeah, strike is just pretty range now. Their defenses are crazy. They're yeah, crazy. but like if you pray range, the Addy and Rune Dragons will hit you with magic too. And oh, it, never it, mind. The defense yeah, is trash. Yeah, and your and your magic defense is shit. So you you're gonna take a shit ton of damage. So mm -hmm. melee will still be best for those, but like the lower tier middle dragons, this this setup would destroy. Would destroy. Absolutely. I like how they're branching out so that you don't. There's just not like one setup for one boss or one monster. Yeah, so they you have can to go think with about things. Yeah, they have to it's go nice. with a niche game. I don't mind it because it it avoids a lot of like speedy power creep. That's why I call it nowadays speedy power creep. You know, I feel like this is definitely down. power creep. This yeah, is, it is. It's just, percent magic yeah. it's, or melee. It's definitely just... power creep. Just not. It's just contained. You know, just very limited. But and not splashable like a blowpipe because like blowpipe was just power creep. On some fucking, oh, you know, what I mean, like dimensional. Blow pipe is your trigger word, man. Yeah, you dude, fucking fuck the blow pipe. It, it, it's it's everybody's like PVM or trigger word. Not gonna lie, it's it's just that insane. But yeah, dude, this thing is insane though. That uh, Kin Hunter is um three. Okay, so Dagon High was three percent each, which was nine percent damage. Dagon High, yeah. which is for dragons, is fifteen percent. 
uh, magic bonus against dragons. No, kin hunters for uh, for dragons. They yeah, ordered a bit weird. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. Oh my god. I hate how they put the Jadagonite on top of the kin hunter. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anyways, kin hunter is insane though, because we had six percent for ancestral, right? Like, let's talk about own for a second. Okay. With ancestral was six percent stack, which was one and a half damage. And, and trident. Yeah, yeah, but like I'm comparing to the to the armor here. So, but but kin hunter is five percent each, fifteen percent. So it's a whole it's a whole nine percent stronger than ancestral, at all. So it's a whole two and a half damage stronger. Than uh than ancestral. Do you think if warding comes out, a lot of these armors are gonna crash like ancestral? Oh yeah, ancestral is gonna go mm -hmm. down a lot 100%. because because a lot of people bring ancestral specifically so they can do raids. Yeah. So where else would you use it after that? To be honest, other than Zora. Yeah, other than right? Slayer, right? No, like, yeah, ancestral don't say, is don't say Zora yet because we haven't gotten to that part. Yeah, like Zora. Was um, well, there like snake damage? Yeah, ven yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah venomous. <laughs> Fuck. Venomous set. That's actually the next Why would one. there be a venom? Yeah, so it's nine percent. Fuck, fuck It's nine percent versus six percent, though. It's not as much. No, the the kin hunter goes to fifteen, so you get a whole nine percent extra damage. No, uh, we're talking about Zora, right? We're talking about the the venomous set. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. The kin hunter is pretty damn strong. Like, I mean, ancestral has no place at race once once this thing comes out. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to come out then. Um, to be honest with you, because you know why? If people are able to mass produce this shit. There's no, there's no reason why this should be better than ancestral mm -hmm. in really any way, shape, or form. Unless they it's decide... like making full adamant and going to bandos, you know? Yeah, exactly. Sense. Unless they make it so that the requirements, the like material required to make this thing, is on an equivalent level of difficulty to to get, like compared to like the ancestral, then I'm okay yeah. with it, right? Yeah, this is the greats too. Yeah, because then you I have do, like, like one hydra leather. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because because then it'll be like um, for example, Elijah and Spare Shield, right? You can't just mass produce an Elijah and Spare Shield. You have to get the sigil first, and and also get the the skill level to make it. So that concept already exists. We have those things. We have like DFSs, you know, those things where you need a certain skill to build it, right? So it could be the same for this. If these new armors, like the really overpowered ones, um, gets like some sort of resource drop or whatever that is really hard to get. You know what I mean? It, like it comes from like a you know nice piece of content. Then I'm okay. Then then I'm okay with this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm only okay if no. they make it hard enough no, to get. It probably won't happen. No. Even it'll... still, it's still going to become the meta. You have to make it like which is excessively yeah, yeah. harder to get. Like way harder to get. Yeah, than, yeah, uh, exactly. Like it's just harder. I I mean we can't just be like oh let me dismantle ten room play bodies and ten mystic tops. And then just use whatever I get from that and make a Dagon Hide set, you know? No way. I'm, I'm, I would not mm -hmm. be okay with that. No way. Whatsoever. They have a nice concept, yeah. but not yeah. the armor set. But the sets. thing is, like, the, the, this concept would require <clears throat> multiple updates. That It's outside of the skill. Like, you know, you will have to make a new, new like, mini game or new bosses that drops components to, like, finalize these type of things. These strong items. Because, yeah. I, I can't, like, you can't mass produce things that are just best in slot you know like that easily right it sounds like you an can now motherfucker it's yeah no i would vote no in to the wheel these. baby like all of it's these over. i would i would flat out vote no to if it's just easily mass reducible and it just becomes like xp fodder if these become xp fodder you know production stuff i'm i i, I don't want those that's that's a big no and is that all the robes that we looked at yeah the venomous any, one's the last sequence? thing we uh talked okay. about yeah it was nine percent against venomous creatures, so like Zora, and like Lizard. what else is venomous yep. in this game? Uh, uh, they, it uh, says lizardmen, no, spiders, and yeah. snakes. Yeah, venomous. Yeah, you, okay. You're gonna mage venomous. Yeah, there's no point maging it though. You just flash. It's, it's really just a <laughs> oh. Zora thing. This is literally a Zora setup right here. You would you would wear this exclusive for Zora, but that's stupid though. You know, because then if it's super easy to make, then yeah, fuck that. I phone no too. <laughs> easy game, but yeah, that's insane. Yeah, and you, and oh, apparently they have new weapons too. So it's not even just armor. Fuck it, we're making some weapons, baby. Yeah. You got the skull scepter in there, and is that a mud staff with a steel handle? I don't. What the hell? Demon Bane's claw. Here, I'll read these out here. Yeah, just you don't can move it. It's your turn. All right. So mystic cocktails. Mm -hmm. These new ranged items are an alternative to chinchapas. What ranged? What? Ranged? What? With the warding skill, these weapons have damage bonuses against demons and require completion of the legends quest to create. 
If used against a non-demonic mob, they have considerably reduced accuracy to avoid stepping on Chinchampa viability. They come in the following varieties, Guam. Dude, what the f... Why is it raining? Oh, it's like the holy water things you got from the Legends quest. Yeah, it's like holy water. What the fuck? Oh, we're talking about mage. Okay. And then they got the demon bane claws. Two of them, apparently. There are four types of bane claws that are made via channeling specific items with catalytic vives. I hope I said that right. They will have increased damage and will auto cast specific spells against demons based on the claws you wield. They come in the following fiend, demotic, shadow, and dragon claws. Dark, or dark claws. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't know what. So. You have an auto-cast weapon, kind of like a trident in a way, against demons? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, it's, so... It's just demon-specific magic weapon. Okay. All right, well, at least it's magic that time. And then Skull Scepter and Views. So the Skull Scepter you get from Barbarian Stronghold, I believe. An imbued Skull Scepter can auto-cast Crumble the Undead, kind of badass as magical damage bonuses against the undead and has improved magical attack when compared to the standard scepter. Alongside these new weapons brings the opportunity to extend the undead bane spell on the standard spellbook and with smite and banish the undead. They come the following chaotic, deadly, bloody, and wrathful. So I got the first part. They're trying to create more niche. Uh, yeah, so sometimes. demon bane is for demons and skull scepter is for undead. Okay. Yeah. And there's four types of skull scepters. Uh, yeah, like like now. stronger. You know, like the different types just re represent different tiers of power, basically. I feel like we're playing D and D, dude. <clears throat> and someone's just fucking making up a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves a very interesting dungeon master. <laughs> yeah. So this is their proposal. If they uh, move the nightmare zone and views. To okay, I skill. could. This is I'm down for that as well, dude. If you want. Yeah. Alright, so new imbues. Warding will grant the ability to imbue skilling with combat rings. Uh, channeled skilling rings. These rings will aid you in skilling via replenishing resources as soon as they diminish. <laughs> Wielding a ring of wood. When a tree falls down, there's a chance the tree will come back instantly. There will be four skilling imbued rings. Ring of earth, wood, amber, and iron. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's it's really not. They were just uh, well, the skilling community would would may have a say in this. I probably probably there's some increase XP rates. Hardcore fucking skillers, dude. They kind of scare me, man. I'll be fishing on my stream and they'll shit talk me for not like one tick or whatever. Jesus Christ! All right, Don't watch and... K-pop video and move on. Exactly. Tell them to you know. Channeled combat rings and am wait amulets. There will be nine combat imbued rings. Ring of wealth. Warrior, treasonous. Oh, okay. All right, make makes sense. Ring of wealth threw me off there for a bit. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Did they talk about how or? It's just uh, with the we skill. We get into that. Yeah. Okay, and then amulet would be like the salve amulet. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Okay, All so right. nothing too new there. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. And you can cover the next one if you want. Oh, what the battle ward garbage? Um, yeah. Battle ward. What the fuck's a battle? Ward? Yeah, there's, there's a. Shield. No. No, this is some really next level stuff. I, re I like went over this a little bit. I'm like, no, <laughs> this can't happen. This is messed up. Yeah. So battle wards are like something you're going to create on the floor. Like you're going to take out your pencil, draw a certain symbol, Ooh, and it's going to create area of effect things. So level 40, you can make the mine ward, which oh. pulls enemies towards it. Uh, level 50, you make the chaos ward, which aggroes nearby mobs. So you don't have to like re-aggro. Like if you're trying to AFK a slayer task or something. The Death Ward at level 60 does AoE damage when mobs die nearby. Okay. So it's like all of them have retribution on. Nah, that's, that's, that's so perfe That's perfectly fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to get into <laughs> the real garbage right here. The Blood Ward and the Soul Ward. One of them has a chance to heal when casting magic, and the other has a chance to restore prayer when casting magic. You know, I'll put this crap down when I do magic bandos. I'll just never leave. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that'd be scary. Yeah. And then we got Wrath Ward, recoil small amounts of magic damage. So it's just a global buff to whatever you're doing. That's a no for me, dog. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I personally, the first couple, kind of badass, to mm -hmm. be honest. Kind of badass. And you get the other shit that can be very um, 
They could they could use that pretty. Uh, no, they're all uh, just. There's only one I like, and it's the chaos one where it just aggro's mobs, so you don't have to like you know run yeah, for be... ten seconds and then run back. There should be one where it makes it so uh, mobs don't aggro, so you can put one in green drags and you just start slamming <laughs> ass. Ward of peace. Ward yeah, of Har peace. Harker Iron Man's would do that. Harker Iron Man would abuse the crap out of that. Oh, let me. I'm Good. a level three Good ten strats. HP Harker Iron Man, but I've got ninety nine warding, so I'll never. Die while drawing the fucking ward. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna drop this in theater of blood and take zero damage. No, I, I think, think this is too strong, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. This I'll way, be devil's right? advocate. It's think kinda about, cool. It's kinda cool, yeah. But like think about it this way. A lot of skills like even though you know, we accepted them in the game as it is, right? But a lot of skills don't really offer much. You know what I mean? But you know what I'm saying? Like these guys are are trying too hard to give too many rewards to a skill. Like, oh, I agree there. all warding needs is maybe 10, 5, you know, cool things that are, like, you know, majorly impactful. But you have, like, you're trying to make, like, 20 things that has, like, insane benefits. So we got to you know, just scrap First, a lot of these. Just, firstly, though, warding, just, and then these are wards. <clears throat> so it almost goes, like, this should be almost the skill that you unlock. But instead, just scrapped everything because it's not like you have to be with magic right they're trying so hard to push the magic oh if you do magic 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 you don't have to make itself it a magic, is magic production mm -hmm. thing right right yeah. it, you can have different stuff like uh this area you can increase stamina right that'd be cool you know slap it down when you're doing sarah when you get yeah. a kill boom a little bit of a boost stuff like that but anyways yeah Start it's just um overall I, I just feel like there's too many rewards that are too good <laughs> real we haven't game. even gotten to the best rewards yet. Okay, come, go on, go on, man. <laughs> wait, wait, is that summoning? <laughs> yeah, we got summoning, or sorry, conjuring, so it can pass the poll. We're not gonna call it. Uh, we're not gonna call it summoning because you know R is three bad, of course. And demon shit. Yeah, we wait, got R3 level forty. You can create. Yeah, well, apparently it's like the mindset of like old school RuneScape. Like you label it summoning, it'll never pass. But call it conjuring, and there's a chance. <laughs> you got so, conjuring split the new prayer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Yo, that's perfect. Conjuring split and uh, conjuring moil. Or, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to rename term moil. Conjuring. Fantastic. Just call it conjuring term. oil. Just fucking. Why not? Just call it term moil. All right. So conjuring alternatively wards could be used for conjuring by placing down a specific ward. A magical creature would be conjured to help the player in a variety of ways. All right. So it's just summoning with more steps. Yeah. Okay. We can move right. on now. Take it's not a sex slave. Slave. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there might be one somewhere down there. Summon yeah. Neve. No, too soon, dude. You spoiled it, the <laughs> ending. All right. Well, you have the token amount of prayer experience. Oh, wonderful. Level 40, you make the mind ward. You can create an imp or a, zo or a zombie. using. You know, there's item requirements for everything that has to do with what you're summoning. So uh, you can summon elemental fiend, possessed weapon, lesser demon, giant skeleton, greater demon, shade, hellhound, and anku. So it's just basically like summoning. Yeah, like a really weak like, it's version literally just of summoning. summoning. Yeah, really so weak version of summoning. Mm -hmm. Dude, because this reminds me sorry right what's saying yeah. uh, this this reminds me so I, I never played private servers back in the day right never ever but i heard from a friend back when you know eoc was going on where you could just summon a monster on this private server but it would have like a cooldown time so you just keep summoning them and then you'd go into like varak with like 500 fucking <laughs> goblins following his ass it just slam oh. everybody it'll lag out the servers <clears throat> and this shit reminds me <laughs> <laughs> you just summon a thing and it follows you. It's so dumb. It's amazing. I would love to see you just mass produce and just start taking over fucking villages. Oh man. Well, you might be speaking too soon, but that that might be a day release uh, bug that happens. <laughs> We've had bugs with skill releases in the past. I mean, we got construction. Yeah. Uh, six, 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 Daryl. That is a good point. So what they have to do? I mean, we're already kind of. I'm already trying to address some problems here. They need to trim down the fat. Mm -hmm. Big time. This stuff, get don't don't put that out yet. You know what I mean? Just just don't put that out. Erase this. Put in the back burner. Um, the warding stuff. Put in the back burner. Th these new armors with like special effects. You know, put that in the back burner too. That that'd be great. Removing those big those pieces of uh, ideas uh, for the initial update would be is this? very friendly. W would mm -hmm. be a lot better. So we left with like basically imbuing rings and maybe like a few wards. Yeah, exactly. You're creating some low level but... stuff because I feel like the higher level stuff, it's too, um, it's too complicated. 
is too sensitive that we need to address them as a per content basis. Like for example, release, I mean, you know, people will be like, oh, there's nothing to do, whatever. But like the main thing is we need to address how you're going to make these new armors. Like what is the lore behind it? What will the resources be required to make of it? You know, will there be a new content attached to making something like a Dragon King armor, right? The, the magic world, right? Because <clears throat> like best install items can't be just something you just mass produce and call it a day, right? We need we need like some good immersion that comes from it, like a boss that's attached to the armor making process, a mini game that's attached to the, to that specific armor, right? I mean, they might add like you know like venomous uh fabric to like Zoro's drop table, like a one in a thousand or one in two thousand drop. Yeah, or that would be cool. Because like there think about go. it, like think about Boom. this way, right? It's like we don't just mass reduce Elijah's spirit shields, right? You have mm -hmm. to get the skill level to make the Elijah spirit shield, but then you also have to kill corporeal corporeal beast to get that sigil to make to even make it. So I want it to be like that, you know what I mean? We can't, we just can't have these overpowered shit that has nothing, you know, no strings attached to it. Like just just something you, you mass reduce. Yeah. Like no, you can make the dragon high robes. Hell no, have a requirement. You know like, what they're doing yeah. with warding right now, dude. Yeah. Well, look at all this shit, right? You said trim the fat. Yeah, trim the fat. I think fat. what they're doing is adding more fat so it's, that when people yeah. look at warding, what is the first thing you think of when you go warding if you don't look at it? Imbuements, right? Yeah, magic. That's Making all people think, stuff. right? Yeah. And then when they go to check out, like, how is this imbuement <clears throat> thing going to work? And they see this fat-ass scroll, right, that just kind of tumbles to the floor for 10 feet. And they're like, mm -hmm. I don't want to look through this. Mm -hmm. Kind of like doing yeah. your taxes. Well, if you don't do your taxes you. well, so, pile a bunch yeah. of shit so when someone goes to look at it, they give up. They're doing the same thing to us. I mean, I see one thing I disagree with uh, here. If you scroll down a bit more, like warding regular robes, like, yeah, you can create wizard robes at level one, priest robes at five, druid robes at ten. Like, yeah, that's like the basic training. And then I see 60. You can create infinity robes. No, what get rid of that. What? No, excuse me. Get rid of that. You can make There's no robes. No, you are not going to make infinity robes. Those, those are the OG yeah. of the OG. It's it stays. There'll be no in reason to do MTX. Or, oh my god, yeah. not MTX, MTA anymore. Can you scroll yeah. down? We can't see it. I don't think. Oh, you can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy shit, yeah. that's a thing. Okay. Yeah, you can make wow. it level sixty. Why? Like, you okay, did. That's a problem. Dude, did these people even play old school RuneScape back in the day and know how awesome Infinity Robes were and kind of still are? Yeah, no. This needs to stay in the mini game. They're, it's like making a dragon chain you cannot mass reduce body. This shit it wouldn't make sense, dude. Yeah. You can't be. Okay, so think about this way, right? You, you minus the infinity ropes. This has a pretty solid selection all the way to 50. Right? Yeah, basic it's not training. Like, yeah, think about this way, right? A lot of skills, oftentimes, meta doesn't even require you to be high level. Sometimes you can achieve meta rates at a pretty early level. I feel like 50 is a pretty good stopping point. I mean, at this point, Mystic Robes are fodder. It's just out, you know I mean? It's just out fodder nowadays. Nobody really what, cares. What's an air robe? Does that mean you have unlimited air runes when you wear it? Yeah, um, it degrades. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, so still, that's like, kind of badass. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I think, like, you know, up to 50 is pretty cool. I, I like this concept up to 50. Um, how about this one, the, the battle robes? I like the concept all the way up to 60. I feel like that's also pretty nice. Fire robes. Bad because ass, like dragon high rose soul park you know all those things were the ones that we didn't like because they had like insane perks without like a story behind it right without like how hard is it gonna be you know to make it right because it feels like out it just feels like something that people would just mass reduce so get rid of um everything um above lunar and then you have a nice selection five to sixty that's still a pretty good training uh uh, and path, then we can right? vote on shit we want in yeah, the future. Exactly. And know? then if you want these dag and high shit, like, you know, and fleshed out the idea, the concept of it, go ahead and then pitch those ideas. Because otherwise, I'll vote everything from 60 and below. And then 70 up, uh, I'm getting rid of those. Yeah, if they make a poll for this, like, they should, like, explicitly state, like, this is not going to directly impact, like, what gets added to the game. We're just looking for, like, you know. Yeah initial feedback of what we posted in the blog and the first one should be like you know are you interested in the idea of warding like you know not paying attention to the things we pitched are you interested yeah. in the idea of another skill coming to the game just in general like just taking the rewards out of the equation like mm -hmm. would you like to see some form of this skill idea put into the game and then start asking about the rewards we've pitched so far so they can get a better idea of like you know where to take it from there 
Yeah, kind of like they did Zaya, right? Yeah, Big, no, beautiful I, I empty commend, plane, and they filled um, in later. So enough roasting, though, for real. I do commend Jagex for actually uh, giving the details because mm-hmm. I used to, I used to, ro- I used to roast them for not having enough details, <laughs> used to. not enough clarification. I'm just like really confused. But now I can see where they're going with because look, look, they have a lot, they have a lot of good stuff here. I mean, a lot of bad stuff too as well. But uh, you know what I mean? We just cut the bad stuff, and we still have a lot of good stuff to work with. They should have so. started with the um, this right here in the beginning because this is really nice to look at. It makes yeah. me excited for yeah, even top, though I don't boys. want all of it in there. But this looks yeah. really clean. Yeah, some of these are completely okay. We have a solid foundation here. I can support that. I support this foundation. Just not like whatever's at the top though. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the last yeah. few floors, no good. And then the imbuement rings, that's kind of cool to look at to yeah, be honest. Yeah, I'm fine with I mean, this. I don't, I don't know what the Cosmos ring, Cosmo Amulet is though. Um, did we look into this? I don't know what that is. No. I think they're at the bottom. Oh, okay. They're at the bottom. We can talk about it later. But there's um, still more. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. So for the uh, warding imbues, I'm fine with everything up to Ring of Suffering because I don't know what those other two is. So I'm, I, I don't know. I'll Compare this to another skill like cooking. Right. How big of a thing could they make for cooking? You cook a fish. Yeah, like cooking like a... is so fucking simple, and I don't see people roasting <laughs> it. <not> warding. Right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. Get rid of half the stuff, and it'll still be more complicated than fire making. So, oh, okay. Cosmos is like uh, burn the log. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about something different? What about warding the banes? Uh, what do you guys think about the banes? I don't know what the fuck that is, I, dude. It, th- you know the things, the magic weapons that uh, were good. Against oh, like the Chin Chompa thrower for some reason or now. Uh, I don't know about this because they didn't say how strong it is. They didn't say like the DPS comparisons or whatever, right? This is this I I just don't know I can't support it because I have no idea. You know we should be able to imbue with salamanders. Uh, that'd be a nice. Oh update. my god! Or let <laughs> salamanders like you know or create new tiers of tar like Ranar tar or something. Yeah, or Ooh, tar. yeah we got five. Fifty, tar, bro. fifty. Fuck yeah, dude. <clears throat> yeah. Oh man, dude, it'd be the that? ultimate rag weapon at that point. Like you know, just chalk it up with like you know, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, like a hundred lantadime tar because lantadime's cheap as hell right now. Mm-hmm. Get a black salamander that costs literally zero and just start go running into rag caves with like snake skin armor, salamander tar. Just yeah, rag yeah, shit out of everybody. Cold I think the cold right, Maybe we should bring that out. Oh, dude. I'd yeah. be down. So, yeah, the, the Banes, um, I need more information before I can make a make a call. This, 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 I would say scrap this until you clarify just how strong they are. Yeah, it seems out of nowhere, right? Yeah, just, scrap, just scrap this entirely, honestly. Warning gallery. That looks sick. Okay, I oh, like that. That looks cool. Ooh, looks like I'm looking at the Airbender season fog. two, bro. That's Holy fog. shit! No one have. Oh, it's fuck. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's, it. that's pretty much it. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> cover most of it. Yeah. What do you guys think though? Um, I I would support the concept. You know what I mean? Minus the things I didn't like, right? I I support it otherwise. Yeah, I like the concept behind it. I think people are just like kind of more focusing on the things that are bad about it instead of looking at like you know the concept idea of the skill itself yeah so when i, I was first told about this like you know warding sucks like everyone just tells me like, oh warding sucks warding sucks you gotta see like why. all these wars that are coming out but it's literally like two sections that are a problem yeah exactly like the way you train the skill is fine the rewards you get out of it most of them are kind of bad but i feel like what you said earlier about how like you know the variety robes like dagon high robes animus robes kin hunter robes as long as it's like a really rare way for you to get like the component that creates them, because obviously it's not going to be mass produced. I would, I mean, I wouldn't put it past Jagex to make it mass produced, but as long as it's not able to be done like that, like let's say there's a one in a thousand chance you get a piece of like you know venomous fabric or something from Zolra, and that creates one, piece. and it's degradable too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would bring point, it new produced. life into bosses if they did that. Yeah, exactly. Too. It like see, because we don't want new content to take away from old content. Old content. We want New content mm-hmm. to complement old content. I feel like that's one of those things that Jagex has had a hard time. Maybe not understanding. Uh, maybe they do understand it, but they don't understand how important it could be. Because if you just bring something that just completely replaces something, then it, you don't gain anything because it doesn't add to the game. All it does is it keeps the game kind of the same. But mm-hmm. it just gets rid of something we, we used to love. Right? <laughs> so, yeah. So that's, I agree. Yeah, That's so like dude. this is my take, right? I like this here. Pretend nothing goes beyond this. I like this. Pretend nothing goes beyond this, and I'm okay with this. Just I don't know what the other emulets were. Can you explain? Agreed, man. 
Um, uh, the like basically the Cosmos Ring and Cosmos Amulet have to do with uh, those rogue sets. I'm guessing it amplifies the effects, or I don't know. Okay, yeah, the, you can scrap that. <laughs> scrap that then. Yeah, I like these three. Th these are great. These three are great. I would vote yes if they just take away those weird armor sets yeah, or make them same. rare, and then none of the fucking weapons, dude. Those weapons seem yeah. out of place. Vote for them later. Yeah. Something that replaces chins. Yeah. Why? It's warding. You mm -hmm. don't. There's no range weapon. Yeah. No weird demonic shit. This is. To, to be honest, I'm now more excited about this. Yeah, I, awesome. I like the I layout. Mean, like, it's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I, I like this a lot more than what people told me. You know, because people are just like, I don't like it. It's so stupid. But I'm like, I look at it. I'm like, you know what? This is actually pretty good. But definitely yeah, some. Clean. Some like I've noticed they're really easy. Like they're really attractive things, and they're really unattractive things, right? So it's really easy to see. Yeah, just get rid of the weapons, like Mint said. Um, the weapons, the warding things that summon monsters, and the things that you place on the ground. Get rid of those. You know, just keep these production. Because, right, whoa, whoa, whoa. isn't it a skill about production, right? Isn't that. I, I like the about? ground things, you know? Just you take away the magic, you know? Maybe you get some uh, cool I mean, effects let's, in there. There's a lot of pretty OP ones, though. I know, I know. Take yeah. away those dumb ones, man. But like, like, like which one's ones are, are, okay, thing, which ones are or... good that you think are balanced? Because, to be honest, first like off, a lot of those kind of suck. But I like the idea behind it, right? Yeah. If they just take away the magic from it and they add some actually original ideas, because all you need for this skill, right, it makes sense to have a ward on the floor. It doesn't have to do with magic, right? It just a ward. I mean, ward is magic. That though, cop was, so. I know exactly, but they, you know, it's some of the shit like heal when casting magic, prayer when. Why? Why? No, that's fucking super strong. Take yeah, that exactly, away. Yeah. Add some cool buffs in there, right? Maybe like a buff for uh, when you're cooking, it'll boost your cooking a couple levels so you don't burn as much. You place it out near a fire, you know, just something Ooh, like that. Yeah, that's a cool yeah, idea. Yeah, okay. I mean, if the skills are on board, but, you know, I don't necessarily qualify for like the high level skill community, but. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But and just. Hey, it wouldn't so... interfere with uh, the whole city of Skrill. You can't like, like fire. Like, as a, as a PVMer, <laughs> I can tell you that the Wrath War is not okay. Soul War is not okay. Blood War, not okay. Death War, not okay. Um. Mind War, yeah, Chaos I, Ward. Those are cool. Uh, that's yeah. You know I mean, I'm like mostly not okay, but I I could be okay if it passes. Like I'll be all right. It's not the end. What of the if world there was a ward passes. where you could place it in the wild and then it nodes items? You know, yeah, well, it wouldn't be overpowered. Yeah, yeah, I feel like all these wards are just emulated of avarice. Yeah, all these wards <laughs> only are just in Red Cave focused, Skull. No one know? fucking goes yeah. in that area. Yeah. <laughs> you know Dead what? You know what? We can have a few wards for PVM. We can have a few wards for scaling. Right? We can have a few wards for in the wilderness whatever yeah, just be I, more creative okay about that. it right don't yeah, be like there's the six things shit. there's six things here and four of them are so broken i i would not want those last four agreed yeah, yeah you, you give me that soul one that restores prayer i'll go do a 1000 kill bandos trip right now yeah and exactly. i'll watch some of it like okay so let me revise that i'm okay with this 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 and that that's it I like how he's taking gas of everyone. <laughs> yeah, just so I can simplify it, right? For people that are watching, because you know he's gonna be making a warding guide for only the shitty likes. It's gonna be great. Yeah, but I, hey, I really think they have something going on here. I, I... Mm -hmm. really cool concepts. Really cool. Fuck, dude. I hope it passes, but not all of it. Yeah, I'm scared. I hope they but I'm excited that. now. Yeah, I hope they acknowledge that there's a lot of things that we will not be pursuing until much later when we can talk to you guys in in detail, right? Tweet this at a JMod, but only show them the the last half. Don't show them the part where we're talking shit. All right, thanks, yeah, chat. Yeah, Just yeah. the last They'll half. Probably right still here. watch it anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> if you guys could, um, I, I heard a lot of people were like asking for timestamps. If one of you guys are down, you can. If you're like watching it, the whole thing, anyways, right? Uh, if you guys are down, you can create timestamps for us. We'll just pin you on the top of the comments, you know, get some swag. And then we'll you give can you 5% of out. the profit too. So at your PayPal down below, we'll give yeah, you a... I mean, we're, we would appreciate it. I, it's, we just don't have time to go through timestamps. And if you guys also want to, you can uh, also timestamp like highlights, like, you know, highlight uh, timestamps. So that way, if some suggestions really are good, we can, you know, take those, take that section of the video and make it a highlight and then you know send it to jagex or something via twitter for you know some yeah we gotta start doing that yeah <laughs> yeah i really want to not like, we don't have time that's the only thing yeah, i feel I like know. hey if you guys are down to help us please do i mean by all means like i would i would appreciate the hell out of you y'all you know if you do it yeah sounds good dude so yeah. did we did we cover mainly most we want to talk about in the podcast yeah then? i mean at least what i want to talk about I, I know feel like this is an important subject. Now. Yeah. 
Oh, there's also the feedback thing, guys. Uh, if you want to send some feedback over there, they have their Twitter. Um, they have their forums. Honestly, just use Twitter, man. Twitter. That's all they look the, at. The, the J mods mm -hmm. are really active on Twitter. I should you know. They're more active than girls on Twitter, dude. It's crazy. They should have that Drake meme where it's like uh, reporting a bug or uh, reporting Tweeting somebody and then like this and then fucking posting on Twitter and they're like that. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. Also, our, our podcast. Oh, yeah. Yo, follow her. We should yeah, we plug that in recently. the beginning, yeah. dude. Mm -hmm. We suck. Yeah, we suck. We'll do it next time. How about that? Yeah, sure, we got that. We'll, we'll give that, it good. You know, follow this beautiful, beautiful OSR's <laughs> podcast Twitter. That's it's where we nice. uh, give notifications, and hopefully we'll we'll be able to expand into highlights. You know, with with some uh, you know viewers help, we can probably make some really good highlights and send it over to Jagex. So I'd be Sounds really good, happy well, with that. Thank you, Colin, for joining us. His links are going to be down below. Yep. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, Twitch slash a cold one, boys. Check my boy out. He streams uh, fairly regularly, high level PVM content. You'll see some occasional solo TLBs and some, you know, fails here and there. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not so much occasional anymore. Now it's majority because oh. I've been spamming the hell. I've been spamming the hell out of him now. Yeah, because Colin's just too good at the game. But yeah, check out some high level P PVM content on his Twitch. We'll put hey, man, I want to solo that scythe. Hey, that'd be sick. Yeah, first um, Iron Man to solo TLB and get a scythe. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. All right, boys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Rake, see if he comes back home safe. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out in the next episode of OSR. Will he survive? Yeah, <laughs> stay, stay tuned. Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, okay. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>